Guys, good morning and welcome to today's um, prediction analysis. If you are new to the channel, please do well to like the video, do well to subscribe to the channel, share with friends. Because um, now that we don't have those uh, Champions League matches you know, going on, you can expect a certain level of consistency. You can expect that we will be back winning again. You know, that five days, six days in a row winning streak that we used to do. So that is something you should expect against. Those cup matches were really, really uh, disappointing. So, but I mean, talking about yesterday, yesterday went really well. I'm sure some of you may have questioned some of the selections that I made. Like the Adana, the Mispor, and Sivaspor over two goals. You're probably shocked when I gave Udinese uh, a double chance when the odd was a, a huge 1.33. But again, it's not always about the odds. It's about the quality of the game and being able to avoid a game that has been manipulated. So how do you avoid a game that has been manipulated? And, you know, a game that statistically satisfies the criteria that you have set aside you know for it to fulfill so these are the things that we have to you know take into consideration when we are uh, selecting matches and you know it, it went really well so I'm, I'm equally very very excited for today today should go equally very well and i think we should you know hit the bingo uh, once again so um another thing you should do is please join our telegram channel right we've been winning a lot on our telegram channel uh, two days ago, we won um, five plus odds, six plus odds actually on the Telegram channel. Yesterday again, we won two plus odds on the Telegram channel. So make sure that you join our Telegram channel. Very, very important. The link to the Telegram channel is in the comment section. And uh, without further ado, let's move straight into the games. Uh, the very first game we have here is from the Championship. It's a game that involves Burnley and QPR. So when you look at this Burnley team, fantastic team, right? So they have played five matches at home, right? So five games played at home. And in these five matches played at home, they have won three times uh, and drawn twice. And you need to also look at the quality of teams that Burnley has beaten, right? They've beaten the likes of Plymouth. They've beaten, uh, they've drawn Blackburn. They've drawn Preston. Now, we are talking about a QPR team that has been very shocking. QPR team has played five matches at home, away from home. They only managed to win one, uh, which was away to Luton. Luton is a newly relegated team right? that just joined the uh, division from the Premier League. And their last two matches ended in losses, which was quite shocking. And the reason this game will matter for Burnley is that since Burnley was relegated from the Premier League last season, they've tried, they're doing everything possible to get back on top. That's basically what they're doing. They're doing everything statistically possible to try and get back in, on top. And when you look at the standings on the table, Burnley is position two. Uh, three points today will take them to the top of the summit, assuming Sunderland loses, or uh, assuming Sunderland loses a point. So this is the reason this game will matter for them. They need to get as many points as possible and as quickly as they can so they can get back on top. So it's for this reason that this game will really, really matter for Burnley because they want to get to the top of the table. So what am I going here? This is a game Burnley will not lose. They will do everything possible to pick maximum points. And it's for this reason that I'm going with a draw no bet for Burnley. So Burnley draw no bet is priced at 1.25. The next fixture we have is from the England League One. It's a game that involves Bolton and Petersburg. Uh, Bolton is also a team that is doing quite okay at home. And what, what's really interesting about this Bolton team is that they score and concede a lot. And it's not surprising that this team is averaging a minimum of 2.5 goals at home. And they always score and they always concede. That's, that's the interesting thing about them. Then you check this uh, Peters Broad team and they're also averaging a minimum of 2.5 goals away from home. They score and they also concede as well, which is quite interesting. Head to head tells you the entire story, tells you everything you need to know about this team. They're always scoring and they're always considering as well. 
And the reason this game will matter for Bolton, right? The reason this game is going to matter for Bolton is because when you look at this Bolton team, uh, Bolton is position 14. They shouldn't be here. They need to climb up the table to, you know, be sure of, you know, getting promotion into the championship. Petersburg is position 12, and they also need to climb up. So it's a, a, a game that we will see both teams score. It, it's actually a game that you shouldn't be too surprised, right? Don't be too surprised if in the first half they already scored three goals, right? Don't be surprised if you see three goals in the first half. It's a game that will produce goals in 90 minutes. So what am I going with? I'm going with over two goals. I'm not saying over 2.5 goals. There's a difference. I'm saying over two goals. What that means is if the game finishes with only two goals, you are not disadvantaged. The bet isn't lost. If the game gets to see more than two goals, or like let's say three goals, then the bet wins. That's, that's basically what it means. So it's for this reason that I'm going with over two goals and the odd is 1.22. The next fixture we have is from the La Liga. It's El Clasico. And some of you might wonder, why would I select a game of this nature? It's a game that involves Real Madrid and Barcelona. And this is a game that, like, this, this is a fixture that a lot of people will shy away from. But I see value in this game. And the reason I see value in this game is Madrid has been in such outstanding form at home. Barcelona, understandably, has also been in an okay form away from home. And the truth of the matter is that there is that strong and huge rivalry between Real Madrid and Barcelona. And the reason I expect Real Madrid to get the job done today is because we need to look at it from a coaching point of view. The Madrid coach has been around with this team for the longest time possible. He knows how El Clasicos are played. He knows exactly how to win this game. He has played against this particular Barcelona team before. He knows their weak points and everything. But then you have a Barcelona coach that is just joining the team, even though he has done very well. But this is a different type of match, a match that requires a slight little bit of experience to, to win, especially when you are up against you know, one of the best coaches, if not the best coach in the world, and slotting. So, even though, I mean, I mean let's, let's check their head-to-head. When you check their head-to-head, -head, I mean, if, even the head-to-head -head shows that it's a fixture that has seen, um, especially in recent times, that has seen Real Madrid dominate, especially in recent times, their last two meetings. So, this is a game that I'll give it to Real Madrid. Madrid isn't going to lose at the Benebao. They're not going to lose at home to Barcelona and they know they need to close up on you know on Barcelona so they're not going to sit down and lose shame shamelessly to uh, um, and, and lose shamelessly to Barcelona they're not going to do that they will do everything possible to pick a positive result it might be a draw it might be a win but they're not going to lose at home to Barcelona so it's for this reason that I'm going with a double chance right I'm going with a double chance for Real Madrid and the odd for a double chance for Real Madrid is 1.31. And finally, um, we have uh, Manchester City from the England Premier League against Southampton. Um, Man City, excellent team. You know, three wins, two draws. But then you need to look at the teams that they drew. They drew us now, which is understandable. They had a red card. I think they had a red card in that game. Yeah, yeah, I think they had a red card, but they still managed to draw. And they played Inter Milan. Inter Milan is uh, two seasons ago, they were finalists in the Champions League. They're a strong team. They're they um, Italian League's um, champions. But then we are talking about a Southampton team that is out of stock. A Southampton team that has lost three, three times away from home and won just twice. You change their head to head. And Man City always gets the job done against this Southampton team. And the standings on the table also give credence to the fact that Man City needs to win this game to get back on top because Liverpool currently occupies the number one position. So this is a game that you should expect nothing short of a Man City win.
I don't think even a red card will stop Man City from winning Southampton. So nothing short of a Man City win. And it's for this reason that I'm going with a straight win for Man City. And the odd for a straight win for Man City is priced at 1.30. So all these games should give you a total of 2.26 odds for your benefit. And I want to wish you guys the very best today. Let's see how we can win today. May God be with us and see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.